In this video, I'm going to teach you all about dividing decimals. Let's look at when you divide a decimal by a whole number. Let me give you the example of 2.4 divided by 6. Now, the decimal place is already in line for us, so we just bring the decimal place straight up. Now how many times does 6 go into 2? 6 cannot go into 2, so we'll put our 0 here. How many times does 6 go into 24? 6 goes into 24 4 times. So subtract 24, ignoring the decimal now that we already took care of it. 24 minus 24 is going to be 0. So 2 and 4 tenths divided by 6 will give us an answer of 0 0.4 or 4 tenths. Remember, a good way to check your division is by multiplication. So let's do 6 times 0.4. Do we get the same answer, 2.4? Let's see, 6 times 4 is 24. And we have one decimal place that we moved over. So we're starting here, moving it over this way. Yes, we get 2.4. Let's see how to divide by a decimal by a whole number one more time. Now let's say I ask you to divide 4.8 by 2. The decimal place is already taken care of when we bring it straight up in the line. I'm going to leave this one sitting here, but just remember to ignore it. So 2 goes into 4 2 times, so 2 times 2 would be 4. Subtracting that, you're going to get 0, and bring down your 8. How many times does 2 go into 8? 2 goes into 8 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8, because it goes into it evenly 4 times. So 8 minus 8 is 0. So 2.4 is our answer. These steps are interchangeable just as long as you remember to bring the decimal up directly where it's from. Now let's look at dividing a decimal by a decimal. Let's say I ask you to divide, to divide 1.2 by 2 tenths. Now in this instance, we need to take care of the decimal first. So we're going to move the decimal over this way until we get a whole number. And if we move the decimal over here, we're going to have to also move the decimal as many times as we move the decimal outside of the division. So now the decimal will be here. And remember, we're moving the decimal place to the right. So now we're just going to divide 2 into 12. So 2 goes into 12 6 times, bringing the decimal straight up from where it is. We're going to get 6.0, which is the same thing as the whole number 6. Let's look at another example. Say that we divide 1.26 by 6, by 0.6. First, we start by moving the decimal over here, and since we move this over to the right one, we're also going to move this one over to the right one. So now our decimal places are here, and this is just a whole number, so we don't need to include it on this side. 6 cannot go into 1, but 6 can go into 12 two times. The decimal, make sure you keep those in line. So since, it, since 6 went into 12 2 times evenly, we're going to subtract 6 times 2, which is 12. Bring down the 6. How many times does 6 go into 6? 6 goes into 6 one time evenly. So that would just be 6 minus 6, which is 0. So our answer is going to be 2.1.
Let's say I ask you to divide 635 and 4 tenths by 2 hundredths, or 0 0.02. What we need to do is move the decimal place over until this number is a whole number. So we're going to move it over once. It's still not a whole number. Move it over twice. Now it's a whole number. Now it is 2. So since we moved it over twice, we're going to have to move it over in the inside twice. So it's going to go from there to there. We have to fill in our zero. And now divide normally. So two goes into six three times. Bring down the three. Two goes into three one time. Bring down the five. Two goes into fifteen seven times. So that would be fourteen. Bring down the four. Two goes into fourteen seven times. Evenly. So now that we're going to have zero left over. And two goes into zero, zero times. Now remember, we cannot forget our decimal, so we're going to bring our decimal back up from where we had it, right there. So our answer is going to be 31,770. Let's do 846 ten thousandths divided by two hundredths. So we're going to start by moving our decimal place over till this number on the left becomes a whole number. So that's going to happen when we move it over twice. Since we moved it over twice there, we have to move it over twice on the inside as well. One, two. So our new decimal is going to go right here. Now how many times does two go into zero? Two goes into zero zero times. How many times does two go into eight? Two goes into eight four times evenly. So we're going to take away 8 from that and bring down the 4. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and move your decimal place up now because remember, it's always in a line. So whenever you want to, you can move your decimal up. I'm going to wait till the end though. So I'll go ahead and do it now. How many times does 2 go into 4? 2 goes into 4 2 times. So we're going to subtract that 4 because 2 times 2 is 4, and we're going to bring down our 6. How many times does 2 go into 6? 2 goes into 6 3 times evenly, so we're going to subtract the 6 with nothing left over. So our original problem of 0 0.0846 divided by 0 0.02 is going to give us an answer of 4.23 or 4 and 23 hundredths.